I ain't never faking, I'm the realest. Tupac in the prison, man, claiming his innocence. Currently, I'm the greatest rapper in a sense. But any currency, I'm still guaranteed my wins. This is coming from within, I stuff for real, I don't pretend. When the OG spilling knowledge, bet it's best you soak it in. I'm a prophet to them scholars, got them chakras opening. Got them fixing up they actors, now they truly focused in. Uh. I'm seeing 2020 visions. Daily manifesting on my premonitions. Best to keep it neutral, got my own religion. The brainwash, gotta make your own decision. My word is James Bond, I stay on the mission. Coming for the top position, ain't no competition, man. Pull up in the top, it's missing. Fuck the opposition, man. All that lane switching, this is what the game is. In. It's the young, incredible, honestly. Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday Night Football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And, Charles, you look back to last year's draft class for quarterbacks. We had a good crop. Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, the two Joshes, Allen and Rosen, Lamar Jackson, all just in the first round. So here we get two second-year quarterbacks set to face off. How have things changed? Well, for these young guys, that first year, typically learning experience, team's not very good. They just want to see you handle some situations. But everyone expects a jump in year two. And with that, they expect the fortunes of the team to jump as well. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. This is David Johnson, the former All-Pro. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the shotgun, it's Palmer. Blitz coming and down he goes. Malcolm Smith, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd. They feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Get ready, get ready. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance. Because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing hey, hey, hey. lanes and easier it's coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. The numbers for Zeke from last week. 16 carries, 99 yards, and a touchdown. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. On second down, Elliott. And not much.
catch there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. They'll try to run for it with Elliott. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. It's a first down following a gain of three. Young looks to throw on first down, but he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Now a first down throw for Young. That'll be caught by Rice. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. It's Young off play action. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rice. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Again, it's Young. The pass complete to Ryan Graham. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. From the red zone now, Young. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Go, 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 go. go. Shoot. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Look at me, zipper. Check, check, 43. Yeah, yeah. They're running it. 43, get Now Elliott. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, look now at our starting defense. They enter play here 24th in the league against the run. One thing you do know, you know they'll be fired up because they're facing a top five rushing attack. And even if they have early success against them, they got to remember, they got to sustain it because teams that are top five, they don't stop running the ball if they don't get things done early. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Step. Looking to throw, Young. Flushed out right. And he will find his receiver, Pettis, for a 49ers touchdown. Dante Pettis, his first touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went three and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> The Cardinals last year, of course, struggled 3-13, and 13, but two of their three wins came against these 49ers. In fact, the Cardinals have beaten the Niners eight consecutive times. Last time San Fran beat Arizona was 2014, and remember, these are clubs that meet twice a year. The tackle there by Richard Sherman. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, and you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, his fourth touchdown on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. or any speed limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the table and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points... It's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. That throw by Young incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Off the play fake, Young. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. In that time for the sack, say hello to Chandler Jones. Third and long for Young. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. A first down carry by Allen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. These two teams all tied after one. On second down now, it's Elliott, and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Young. That's complete to his speedy wideout, Goodwin. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. This quarterback now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. Here's Young. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. On first down, Elliott. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Get 
The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. The great move couldn't free him. Taken down at the 10. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breda. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Matt Breda with touchdown number eight on the year. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Cardinals. Charles Clay. 76 yards, and now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. Oh, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone but from your tight end. Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes, steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield. Maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings, talking about this running game, opening up the passing game. We'll see if that continues to happen. The reception good for seven. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. 10th carry now for Elliott. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. A pair of first downs gives them a first and 10 up at the 44. Young working out of the gun. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Kittle last year, what a season. 1,377 receiving yards, an NFL record for tight ends en route to his first Pro Bowl. Not bad for the former fifth-round pick. I remember that game December against Denver. 
He had that monster first half, 210 yards. Did not have a single catch in the second half, but still those 210 yards were just four yards shy of Shannon Sharp's single game record for a tight end. On second down, a run with Burita. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Now a man open down the middle of the field and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. Now the 49ers electing to leave the offense out there and go for two. And they just get the playoff. Now Young. And he will find the end zone here. And the lead moves up to seven. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver. Ball's put on him. Two points for them. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play no. drive is exactly what you want on yeah. offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it bombers hit. Fumble. He loses the football. And the 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Third down, Johnson. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. The 
This will be fielded at the 17. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Niners will go on offense. First and 10. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first. Maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on. And then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. First and ten, Young. Man open, it's Goodwin. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. To throw, Young. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Elliott. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. And quickly, they get to the line. Young on third and two, steps away. And this is incomplete, with a clock showing just three seconds left. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. So we've reached halftime here on... And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. This is fielded a couple yards deep. A little juke. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Blue draw Parker. First down, Young. Over the middle, and he's got Goodwin complete. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Now here's Young. Connects with Kittle underneath. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Young now, eluding the pressure right. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. First and ten, Young. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. This is Breda. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breida. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Go. 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 
On third down, a run from Breda. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Matt Breed out of Georgia Southern now in his third year in a 49er uniform. He was tough to keep off the field last year. Very good yards per carry. 5.3 on 153 attempts. Good for over 800 yards rushing. A first down throw for Young. That was complete. Elliott. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Young, and this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Yo, yo, yo. Go, go. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. They run again with Brita. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. Hey, Wahoo! Check, check, Rocky, look at me, zipper! Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. Now Young throwing on fourth down. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call, is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Palmer. That's complete to Bolden. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Johnson. And he's going to be stopped short of a first down as they'll get to him at about the 33. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. Their win streak at six coming in and counting as they've got the lead right now beginning this drive first and ten. the 30-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. From the shotgun, it's Young. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. 
Now a first down throw for Young. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Here's Young from the shotgun. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. They run for it with Breida. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Young. That'll be caught by Rice. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here. Not done in the fourth. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this draw. They need points. Big time. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. And it's never going to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. On third down, Johnson. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Here. 
McCrane's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So another no, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. Ready, ready. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like It's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Young looks to throw on first down. Over the middle to Kittle. Complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. 18 Let's yards, go. first down, Niners. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. It's Young on first down. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Rice. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. To throw again on second down. Young got the connection here to Bourne. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Young will set to throw. It was D.J. Swearinger right there on the coverage. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal on second down it's Coleman and he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown Tevin Coleman his fourth touchdown on the year and the Niners are able to stretch their lead they were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you're stopped on the first run, it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination. And they got it done on the second try. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out now come the Cardinals. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal win. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former Super Bowl MVP, Malcolm Smith. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. About three yards there to the 27. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. On play action, Young completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the five. A good pick up there, a 22. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Ready, break. X3, 218, chop. Ready, go. Two. On second down, it's Coleman. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Young to throw it toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But partner, anytime someone tells me the fundamentals are leading the game, I'm going to show them this play because they couldn't get to the passer. So what do you have to do? Get your hands up in the passing lane, and they batted it away on a third down attempt. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. I seven, go. On fourth down, Young, and they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. They want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Palmer now, complete. It's Johnson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 38-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 19. Now Palmer. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. Second and ten, it's Palmer again. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounce back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. 58, come on. Go on, go on. Hey, hey, watch it, watch it. Hey, 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 hey. hey. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
go, go, go. They go to Elliott again. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Look at me, zipper! Yeah, yeah! Check, 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 go! From the shotgun again to Elliott. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Last run hey, got three. Go. Now here's second and seven. Hey, you. Hey. Ready? Young to throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they move this all the Let's way go. down to the nine. So the victory here for San Francisco, and I know I'm not breaking any news when I say that any road win in this league is a good one. No doubt. But it's a double bonus when you get a victory.